Hi guys, just playing around with this pancake coil that I made the um, wireless Christmas tree on the other day just by coiling up some wire and putting it on top. And I've been looking at what else I can use. This is actually the ball out of a roll-on deodorant and I've just wrapped some uh, what do you call it, enamelled wire around it. I think I put about 20 turns there. That comes on nicely. I was beginning to wonder whether to make some eyeballs for Halloween or whether to make some snowballs for Christmas. I can't make up my mind. There you go, I've just popped the LED inside. A bit of paint on there to make it look interesting. Next idea I've had, so I've got these tea lights, four for a pound. Inside all you've got is the LED that sits in that little plastic um, candle shape or flame shape. One leg goes to the bottom of the battery and the other leg goes to this metal plate that when you shift the on off switch it pushes the metal plate backwards and forwards to make contact with the battery so all I need to do is solder or wrap some wire around there and then solder it to the LED and that should work I've just checked the little flashing LED or flickering LED that's in these tea lights and it actually needs the full 3 volts to get it going properly and we're not getting that from the pancake coil so instead I'm going to swap it out for an ordinary red LED so there we go simple red LED in the tea light now a little triangular coil underneath. So red tea light, green eye, looks like it's going to be Halloween items. This time I've wound a coil of wire round my eyepiece, jeweler's eyepiece, which happens to be the right size to go inside there, inside the tea light. I'll just hot glue that just inside. See if we get a better light from it than the triangular one. Which is alright, but I just thought I'd give it a try. There we are. Just soldered straight to the coil. There you go, that's nice and light. So we'll stick it in there. Got a new hot glue gun I'm testing. Not all that happy with it. I expect I'll get used to it. I'll let the hot glue cool down before I put that down. That shifted the triangular coil inside now. I didn't like it on the outside. So that's better. I suppose I might as well do the other two and have all four matching. I guess I'd better do the fourth one on camera so you can see what I'm doing. So I've got this wire that I've taken out of an old transformer. Hold it onto my eyepiece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 
that should be plenty. Slide it off carefully. Wrap it round itself to hold it in place. Probably a right and wrong way to do this, but it seems to work whatever I do. This is an enameled wire, as it's called, so it's insulated. So we need to clean the insulation off the end before we can solder it. sandpaper. I'm just scraping it with a knife blade. I think you can even burn it off if you've got a handy lighter. LED into my helping hand. As usual, having trouble doing this and letting you see what I'm doing at the same time. coming on. Fold its legs out. Push that into the top there. Put a bit of hot glue on it to hold it in place. Cool down for a few seconds. The thing with hot glue is if you want it to stay soft so you can move things, it goes hard straight away. And if you want it to hold things still while you move on, it stays soft. Right, that's hardened up. There we go, that's going to fit in there nicely. I'll put a bit of hot glue in there to stop it dropping out. that to cool down. There we go. I 
I think my batteries are running down on the um, pancake coil. Getting a bit dim now. Still, they're all alight. And I've coloured in my eye as well. Yeah, batteries are definitely going down a bit now. <laughs> Got to get them right in the middle to get the light to work. Oh, just dimly lighting the green LED as well. There we go. That'll do. Another little bit of Halloween fun. <laughs> 